Hello friends! For today's video we are going to show you how to style a bar part. Now just a quick disclaimer, I've watched a few videos out there on YouTube and read a few uh, articles online and a lot of bar carts I saw were very much styled which made them look pretty but they weren't actually practical or usable. So today's is not going to be super over style but it's going to be a usable cart for you when you have to entertain people or just to set aside for yourself just for a casual look. First off, you have to crush your 24 Oreo cookies, taking out the cream, of course. You can do that in a food processor. Unfortunately, I don't have one, so I'm actually just grinding them up with, what, like a ground beef? I don't know what this thing's called, a ground beef masher, and crunching it into like a fine dust that we will make into the crust of the cheesecake. Pour your fourth a cup of melted butter in with your cookie crumbs, and then mix until well blended. Transfer your crumbs to a well-greased springform pan. Depending on the size of the springform pan you choose to use, I'm using a thicker one. I think that's about two and a half inches. You may not need all the crumbs that for the crust, so just kind of eyeball it and depend on, figure out how like deep you want your crust to be. Mine's gonna be a little thinner, so I don't think I'll wind up using all of this, and I'll just simply remove what I don't use. Once flattened, we're going to put this crust into the oven for 10 minutes at 325. And while that is in there, and we take it out to cool, we will be actually making the filling. In a small bowl, put two cups of your chocolate chips with a fourth a cup of your heavy whipping cream. And we are going to melt that in the microwave at 20 second intervals. Make sure you check because chocolate will burn quickly, and we definitely don't want that. For this step, you're going to mix your sugar cocoa powder, and cream cheese. You can do that either by hand or with a stand mixer. And you're going to mix that into well blended. As you can see, our mixture is fluffy and well blended. Once that is mixed together, you can go ahead and add one egg at a time and your heavy whipping cream. At this point, we can go ahead and add our vanilla and our chocolate and mix. Once your crust is cooled and your mixture is complete, you can go ahead and actually start pouring it in. It will be a little thick, as cheesecakes normally are. And you're going to spread that around, and then we're going to put it in the oven for 70 minutes. Yes, 70 minutes. This is definitely not a dessert that you want to have ready in a half an hour. Once 70 minutes has passed, you can remove your cheesecake from the oven. It'll look a little bit like that with some cracks in it. Now you have to leave it to cool completely before eating, which you can like that, but we'll be topping it with a ganache, but it does have to cool completely, which can take up to four hours, depending on the thickness of your cheesecake. Obviously mine's a little thicker, so we will see, but it should take about four hours on top of the 70 minutes. So definitely a long process, but definitely worth it. To finish off the cheesecake, we're going to make a uh, ganache. Ganache is pretty simple. It's one part chocolate to one part heavy whipping cream. I just poured the ganache over top of the cheesecake and I'm just going to let it um, sit, possibly refrigerate it just so that uh, ganache will solidify and we'll have an additional layer on the cheesecake. Finally, I topped this delicious dessert with some crushed up Oreos with the cream inside. I thought it would match really well with the Oreo crust. And voila! We had a few side stick just a little bit, but overall I think it's pretty good. The, um, and this is our Oreo chocolate cheesecake. Hopefully it's as delicious as it looks. And voila! There is the Oreo chocolate cheesecake. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, definitely like and subscribe. And check our, out my website and blog, james-novotny.com, for the full recipe and some more recipes I'm sure you'll love. Bye! Well, that was our video today. Thank you for checking it out. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you next time, friends. Bye!